I would tell someone who's suffering from fatigue to definitely go and talk to their GP. I just didn't realise that being in a wheelchair was a risk factor for sleep apnea and I really wish I'd known because I, I would have done something about it a lot earlier. My name is Kate Hurd. I live in Alphington, Victoria. I am an author and designer and artist and I have been in a wheelchair for 26 years. I was 16 and a half and I was diving on the south coast of New South Wales into an estuary and it was just too shallow and I hit the sandy bottom and I was flown back to the Austin in Melbourne. I have an incomplete C6-7 spinal cord injury. I get to lead a very creative life. I get to write books and draw and just work with my hands and that's incredibly important to me. Fatigue became an issue for me when I had my daughter six years ago. I thought it was just a normal part of being a parent. I just got stuck into those bad sleep patterns. It's just so hard to function without sleep. It's just fundamental. I did go and see my GP and then I got the chance to participate in a sleep study and it was then that I found out that I had sleep apnea. I love my CPAP machine, but I hate my CPAP machine. I find it quite um, intrusive, you know, the, the lovely, calm, relaxing space of, of my bed but I love it in that I feel so much better for using it. Using CPAP means that I can uh, wake up in the morning and feel like I've actually had a pretty good night's sleep. I can do all the things that I'd want to do in a day. So I'm, I'm glad that I, I use it and I wish I'd started using it sooner.